This place is very familiar. Who are you? What have you done? You ask as if I were a ruffian, a wanderer with no place in this palace. Know that I am a son to King Sharaman, and brother of Prince Malik, who rules here in our father's name. I did not come here seeking a mythical army. I was sent to study alongside my brother, that someday I might be as great a leader as he is. This territory was once the heart of King Solomon's mighty empire. According to legend, it holds a secret we are sworn to protect. Perhaps that secret is the reason the fortress is much sought after by neighboring kingdoms. Malik was sent here so the army would have a strong commander to discourage attacks. But even Malik's famed strength could not discourage everyone. yourself up there, it won't be a problem. Not at all. Good. And then get down here quickly. I don't want to tell our father you were injured while in my care. <laughs> Your care? Quickly now. It's open! Get down here! There's no way down! Go on! I'll meet you! <laughs> the vault! Head to Solomon's vault! Good to see you. Come with me. 
We shall see what our enemies make of Solomon's army. Malik, this is madness. You have to get out of here. Save yourself and what's left of your people. My people are all but dead. You've seen for yourself the palace has fallen. There's no other way. If I can control this army, we can win this battle easily. And if you can't control it, what then? Would you have me retreat? And leave this power in the hands of my enemies? At least this way we have a chance. This army isn't meant for man to use. You know nothing about the choices a leader must make. If it is in my power to save this kingdom, I will do it! I'm not trying to question your leadership. You don't even know what you're releasing. As many warriors as the grains of desert sand. Don't touch it. It is only sad. That is how I found my way here. Where is here exactly? And who are you? And what do you know of King Solomon's army? We are Razia, Queen of the Marid, Guardian of the Waters, and ally to King Solomon himself. We helped to seal that army away. That would have been more than a thousand years ago. You couldn't possibly... I am of the Jinn. We are not so short-lived as humans, or so quick to forget things of vital importance. Do you know what your brother has unleashed? That army did not belong to King Solomon. It was sent to destroy him. The army was formed from the desert sand itself. It is a disease. The more sand it touches, the more soldiers it will create. If you do not trap it quickly, 
it will cover the world. How can I stop it? Do you still have the half of the seal you picked up? Of course. Good. That is a powerful magic. Alone it will help you fight the army. If you reunite the two halves, you will recreate its prison. You must find the other half of the seal and match it to this one. Malik still has it. Then you must find him, and quickly. We will give you the help of the Jinn. What did you do? If you wish to stop the army, you will need more time. I have given it to you. Time? And a final warning. The army is led by Ratash, one of the Ifrit. He will likely seek out the medallion. If you see him, do not fight him. You cannot hope to win against him. I'll keep that in mind. Go. There is no hope for this kingdom if you do not unite the sea. Why do I get the feeling this won't be as easy as it sounds? <laughs> After the chamber collapsed, are you all right? Yes. We have to stop the creatures that escaped the seal. Most of them are headed for the fortress. If I can close the gates, that will keep them from overrunning the countryside. From there, I'll have to find a way to re-imprison them all. I know a way. I have the other half of your medallion. If we reunite the pieces, it will seal the army away again. How do you know that? It's complicated. But I think it will work! These creatures are turning all of my men into statues! I think these medallions are protecting us! If you let go of your half, you're in danger! If we're going to reunite the pieces, I want you standing next to me! Meet me at the gates! You must be careful! I started the palace's defense system! There are traps everywhere! I noticed. The creature Razia warned me about. What's it doing? She's right. Good, you're here. There's a large group of sand soldiers on the way. I can slow them down, but I need you to close the gates. All right. How does it work? <laughs> How should I know? That's helpful. I think the levers behind you lock the mechanism. If you unlock it, that should let you raise the bridge. They've broken through. Get this working as quickly as you can. I've lured them into traps, crushed them with stones. I must have killed hundreds, yet there are more. I can feel myself getting stronger as they die. Do you need help? No. How are you doing with the gates? I've got the gears unlocked. Good. The army's nearly here. I'll slow them down. Could... They've broken through! Have you closed the gate? As far as it will go! It'll have to do! Come on! Malik! <laughs> 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 again we need to reunite the medallion wait there until I find a way up what's your hurry the army is trapped I can kill them one by one gain their power do you hear yourself this army sucked the life from your people and you won't stop it because it makes you feel strong we can end this now throw me the medallion throw me your half 
If you care nothing for power, let me reunite the sea. <laughs> As I thought. Why did you not give him the medallion? He would not have reunited the halves. I'm certain of it. Something is wrong. He talked of leaving his own soldiers to die, as if it meant nothing. He refused to stop the army. He acted as though I were trying to take his kingdom from him. Why is he so obsessed with power? What did this do to him? The army is growing stronger, and your brother killed many enemies. By collecting their energy in the medallion, he must have fallen under the army's sway. The power we added to your half of the seal must have shielded you from it. Why didn't you warn me this might happen? We thought you would be quicker to reunite the medallion. You let your brother convince you to wait until it was too late. If I get the seal away from Malik and reunite the pieces, will he come to his senses? It is possible. In any case, the longer we wait, the stronger the army will be. You must find your brother again. This time, if he will not give you his half willingly, you must take it by force. He's being controlled. I won't harm him. You tell me Malik was a wise leader. If he is beyond helping his people now, you must be the one to take his place. I do not want his power, or his kingdom. I will make him see reason. Then you must hurry. We will give you what help we can. Adiea of Bardor. What is this? The power of the Marid. Dominion over water. Malik! It seems I am not the only one who has gained power. In all my life, I have never seen sorcery like that. The seal is affecting your mind. You must stop this. Why did you ask for my half of the medallion? Do you truly want the army gone? Or were you looking for a way to control its power yourself? If you won't stop this, I will. Give me the medallion. <laughs> no! It wasn't a question. <laughs> were you anyone else, I would execute you for treason! Leave this place, and don't return. Wait! What could have gone better? Barsandi Suleiman. Hala entegama momi geram. Does he think I'm King Solomon? <laughs> Where is he going? Malik. It's after his medallion. The throne room's in that direction. I have to get to Malik first. That's the throne room. Malik must be nearby.
The seal is gone. And something's happened to Malik. He killed that Ifrit and... Your brother did not kill Retash. Retash has killed your brother. What? No, that's not what happened. It is not what you saw, but it is what happened. A Jin will not be killed by any ordinary sword. This is why I warned you not to fight Ratash. His power has simply found another body. Your brother. Before long, Ratash will control him. No, that cannot be true. It is the truth. You don't know Malik. He's stronger than you realize. He will fight that thing, and he will win. Even if that is true, your brother must still die. What? Why? If you're going to say this is some kind of punishment... Of course not. Think. Your brother's half of the seal is destroyed. How will you stop the army now? I'll make another seal. Tell me how. Those spells have been lost. The sorcerers who made it are long dead. There is only one way to stop what you have unleashed. You must go to Rekem, the city of the Jinn. There you will find a sword. With it, you will kill Ratash. When his power is broken, the army's power will be broken as well. Kill Ratash? You mean kill Malik? I won't do that. Do you care for this land? Malik's people, your people, your own life? If you do not stop the army, it will all be gone. I am not heartless. I understand that it will be difficult. But it must be done. There has to be another way. You must take charge in your brother's place. You must save those who can still be saved. This is what it is to be a leader. The entrance to Rekhem is near King Solomon's tomb. Look for the flame that marks the tower. You will find the stairs to the city underneath. Help him! Fight it! Don't let it control you! Some of the palace guards are still alive.
come to this? Razia was right. I couldn't save him. This must be the entrance to the Jin City. You could have warned me the stairs were dangerous. What happened? They collapsed under my feet. I am sorry. The city has been abandoned for many centuries. I have been here so long, I did not think of it. Is there anything else you haven't thought of? Like perhaps a way for me to save my brother? You tried to stop him, didn't you? Despite what I said. Of course I did. Then you know I told you the truth. Your brother is gone. I know he is not himself. But that he cannot be saved? How can I trust what you say? I know nothing about you. I know very little about you either, son of Sharman, brother of Malik. And yet I must trust you to end what your brother has started. Why do you care? You're one of the Jin. Your kind are all but immortal. Ratash was once one of my own people. If we do not succeed here, he will destroy everything I have ever cared about, and the things I have sworn to protect. Including this kingdom. Why do you need me? Why not do it yourself? I have my part to play. And what is that? Do you truly not trust me? Or are you simply angry because you know what must be done and are afraid to face it? When I was younger, my father was often away at war. It was Malik who first taught me to hold a sword. How can I fight him? It is not your brother that you fight. It is Ratash. I know that. It doesn't make things any easier. You are right. Ratash and his army must be stopped. Tell me what I need to do. The city is in ruins. You will not pass through it on your own. Hodra, Beto Midas. I have given you my memories of this place. They will help you see the city as it once was. Go on. I will meet you at the temple. What is this place? The city of Rakan. Once it was home of the Marid, the greatest of the tribes of the Jinn. You will be able to see some of its glory. Beyond this wall is the temple. I will meet you there. I recognize you. Who are the others? The leaders of the four tribes of the Jinn. Before the army came, this was one of our greatest cities. Happened here. When King Solomon formed his empire, he allied with the four tribes of Jinn. We worked together to create cities, the likes of which had never been seen. My people, the Marid, moved rivers, created aqueducts. We kept the waters flowing, bringing life to the desert. But some of us hated that human and Jinn should work together. And the first among them was Ratash. He resented King Solomon, and vowed to destroy his empire. Ratash combined his powers with the desert sand and wind to create an army. It was an abomination, a desecration of all that our powers had ever created. 
When the army attacked, King Solomon and the four tribes banded together to stop it. It was a massacre. The army grew even as we fought it. It was as endless as the sand itself. Finally, a way was found to imprison it within the seal, but not before many died. Human and Jin. Very few of my people survived the battle. Of those who remained, most left the city, vowing to stay far away from the army, even though it was sealed away. And now, I am the only one left. Why do you stay here? Rakem stands in the reservoir that feeds the city above us. I swore to King Solomon that I would guard the water. Without it, the kingdom above would die. I did not realize I had been here so long. I believe I told you time passes differently for the Jinn. It was not until I felt the army's release that I realized so much had been lost. Razia! Are you alright? It seems the army's power is interfering with my own. This is not something I have seen before. We should move on before something worse happens. I spent many hours here learning statecraft. That was so long ago. <laughs> Most of my days in the throne room, I was trying to sneak away. Malik was the responsible one. How will I explain to our father what happened here? You will tell the truth. Ratash killed your brother and tried to destroy this kingdom. And you saved it. We should keep moving. Yes. There is a passageway under this. It was once meant as an escape route. You'll need to get through. Be careful. The way is guarded against intruders. I'm not sure if the traps are still working. With my luck, they will be. This is the origin of the city's water source. Without it, this place would have become a desert long ago. It is this that I have stayed to guard. Baroya Razia, Malakia Malik. The sword you seek is behind that statue. When the statue faces the vault, it will open. Is that King Solomon? Yes. It is odd to think you knew a man I have heard of only in legend. I cannot imagine your legends do him justice. He was a wise ruler and a kind man. You asked me why I stayed here. Even had I wanted to leave, I could not abandon the city he called home. Even now, it is difficult to think of it. But you're not leaving. Razia? If any part of Malik is still alive, I hope he will forgive me for this. Are you prepared? I do not think we should delay much longer. I'm ready. But... My own sword barely caught that Ratash's attention. How will this one stop him, or the army? This sword was built for this purpose. To destroy what one Jin has created, requires the magic of another. I don't understand. Give me the sword. I will show you. Kodratajin Azalatobad. Razia! I am alright. What did you do? I told you I had a part in this. With my power, you will be able to attack Ratash. What will happen to you when he is gone? I do not know. We will see when you defeat him. Now we must go. This is for nothing if you cannot destroy the army. You have to get to higher ground if you want to find Ratash. Otherwise, you'll just keep fighting the army to no purpose. That tower! 
Is it tall enough? Let's hope so. I could feel it taking over my body, but I could not stop it. I was a prisoner. Malik, I'm sorry, I didn't... I am the one who should be sorry. I did not listen to you, and you were right. You saved us. <laughs> I'll get help. No, it's too late for me. But tell our father, I said... You will be as mighty a leader as King Solomon himself. Malik! The sands disappeared as if the storm had never happened, though it left its mark in the crumbling stone of the palace wall. I found the sword where it had fallen from Ratasha's body. The metal was cold in my hands. I spoke Razia's name, but there was no answer. I returned the sword to the underground city. It seemed right that Razia should be left in the city she called home. And I could not bear to keep the sword with me. With the city secure in the hands of Malik's advisors, I begin the most difficult task of all. I must return to Babylon to tell our father what has happened.